waiting impatiently to be let in. Every child here at this refugee camp wants to take part in the UNICEF drawing workshop. These children are among an estimated 18,000 Nigerians who have fled Boko Haram attacks and sought refuge in neighboring Chad. The subject of today's workshop is painful. Each child is given a blank piece of paper and asked to draw their experiences. On the day of the attack, we were in front of our door when we saw the Boko Haram. They went towards the people who were standing by the river and shot them in the head. The children draw bloodied faces and headless bodies. Horrific scenes emerge one after another. Boko Haram closed in on his house. The man tried to leave, but he couldn't find a way out. The whole house went up in flames. Every afternoon after school, UNICEF welcomes hundreds of children here. Many come from different towns and villages, and they don't all speak the same language. Their lives have been turned upside down by Boko Haram, and regaining normality is a challenge. The activity that we do here as part of the Children's Friends Project at the Dar es Salaam refugee camp is to help them forget their worries or the things that the children have witnessed in Nigeria. With those who've had traumatic experiences, we use a therapeutic language. For example, if the child is isolated, we identify that. Around 140 of the children arrived without their parents, who were either lost in the confusion or killed by Boko Haram. Muhammad spent nearly a week getting to the camp. I will never forget what I saw. There were even some babies who were born and root as were fleeing. When I see these babies here in the camp, I can't help but remember. Like many of the other refugee children here, he has a simple hope that one day he can safely return home to Nigeria and find his family. Susan Mongeli, CCTV.